What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Stillwater Artisanal Ales, based in Baltimore, Maryland, and produced in Stratford, Connecticut. This is New Tropic India Pale Ale with mango and passion fruit. And I'll let you take a look at the neat little can art there. Uh, the Stillwater website is woefully poor, dare I say. Um, like one of the beers I had, I believe, was, I believe it was last week, basically just affirms the existence of the beer, says it's made with mango and, mango and passion fruit, and really that's it. So all I can give you is what's really just uh, ingredients from the can. It is 6% six, uh, 6 alcohol by volume. Uh, ingredients include water, malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast, mango, and passion fruit. So basically your ingredients for beer, mango, and passion fruit. So not much to say about it. So we'll just go ahead and get to drinking. Uh, a couple fingers worth of head on there. The top and it's, uh, big old bubbles. You can get a better shot at it. Tons of particulate matter in the in the beer. Tons of matter. Um, not really much carbonation though. With everything that's going on in in the beer, I don't think. I see a little bit, I guess, but yeah, it's starting to get going now a little bit, but. Um, like I'm very hazy with all the particulate matter. I'd call it pretty much a straight up yellow color. Maybe with the uh, particulate matter, the kind of the, the centermost part of the glass is starting to push towards orange because of all the, the light blocking. But um, I think yellow to golden yellow is probably a pretty accurate descriptor. You see that, that head again. I said pretty big bubbles. It's starting to go down a bit already. We're down to about just over a finger's worth of head in just, a, you know, less than a minute. So, uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, put, my, put my nose up to it just, just to try to get a, see if I can get anything um, again, my nose isn't great, but just maybe a, a hair of a hair of a, of a citrusy, fruity note, um, and that's confirmed with the uh, by drinking. Um, citrusy and fruity. It's it's not really a bright citrus note though. Uh, it's, it's very kind of it's, it's very bold, and. Um, it's not not bright or acidic in any way. Gives way to a super funky hop note. There's maybe a little bit of pine in there as well. Uh, nice juicy mouthfeel, especially the juiciness comes through at the towards the end of the drinking experience. A little bit of bitterness, a little bit of sourness, too. Um, let me try to see if I can find out more about that. There's some hop bitterness, as, as I said, and that's, again, this is, this is an IPA, so that's not unexpected, uh, but there's almost kind of a, a lemony sourness to it. And um, it's not a kind of a, a bit of a strange note to me for this beer. I feel like it mutes the, the tropical fruits a little bit. I can certainly taste them. But again, I don't have any, any kind of brightness, uh, less juiciness than I expected. There, again, there is some in the mouthfeel towards the end, but the, the sourness in the, in the back half, and quite frankly, in, my, in the aftertaste, um, I can still feel that sourness on my tongue. It's just a 
It's just a, a bit of an oddly placed note. Almost like the the, the, the fruits in question were left out too long. The, the orange and and grapefruit and the and the the tropical fruits used to, to make this beer were almost all left out and overripe. And so um sour is now now I'm getting a little more of it. Almost could be like a, a rind like note as well, maybe. Like an orange rind or a lemon rind, but just a strangely placed sour note that really kind of cuts down on my enjoyment of the beer overall. Um, I think the the front half of it is 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 pretty good. Uh, again, I feel I feel like the flavors overall are just uh, not as lively as I would like. Again, plenty plenty bold, plenty strong flavor wise, but not doesn't really nothing exciting to it. Nothing that pops. So yeah, that is the uh, Stillwater New Tropic IPA. So that's it for this edition of uh, Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can check out all of our reviews, news, commentary, and lots more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in the description below. And if you're so inclined, uh, like this video and subscribe to this Facebook channel. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you around Poorly Reviewed Beer.